What's up guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to break through a plateau. Um, this is something that I kind of recently went through and I figured I'd share a few things that um, kind of have helped me and maybe they could help you. So basically what a plateau is, like the phrase in the gym, is when you're stuck at either a certain weight, you cannot hit that weight, or a certain movement, you just can't PR, you can't... Um, go as heavy as you'd like or your weights are just not increasing and you're not necessarily making like what you would view as progress so ways to fix this are you can start by doing things like deloading so a deload week would mean that you would use you wouldn't necessarily go as heavy with your weights you would do a little bit more volume and make sure you're focusing on the technique and not necessarily burn yourself out as much um, taking breaks is also really helpful. Rest days, I know as much as they stink, it is definitely important to rest so that you can keep killing it and you do not hurt yourself or drain yourself or get sick because weightlifting is really stressful on the body. I know you feel better after you work out, but honestly it is very like hard on your body it's kind of different than like going in and just like working out lifting weights like intense weightlifting training is it basically like drains and damages your cns which is your central nervous system so you become really exhausted so it's not it's great for your body but it is very exhausting especially if you don't um, feed yourself properly you don't eat enough it'll really tax on quickly and if you don't sleep enough sleep eating and resting ew excuse my nails sleep eating and resting are honestly essential so those are some things that are also really important um, making sure you get enough sleep making sure you're drinking a ton of water things like that can also just help improve your overall performance in the gym another way that another thing that has helped me break through a little plateau i'll just give you guys the example i've been trying to bench 135 for so long i have tried at it over 20 times i can't even tell you how many times i have failed at that weight like the number would probably make you throw up because it's insane how many times i've tried and failed but finally um recently i got it and this is one of those things that it just takes a lot of time making sure that your bench technique is like flawless making sure that you can move properly under the weight so that you can get it and things that have helped me especially is honestly being under that weight and failing that many times every time it would like light a fire under my butt like you're gonna get that next time like that weight is going up also helped but being under the weight and failing that many times also kind of made me more comfortable so each time i would get under the weight i was a little bit more comfortable which that was mainly the goal that my coach and i had every time I would try it even if there were days when we knew like okay she's not gonna get it but if she's under the weight she moves it properly all the way down and she just doesn't have the strength to get it up that's one more time that I was comfortable under the weight don't do this all the time like you don't want to just every single time I'm gonna go in there and fail at it that's not really the goal but every once in a while when you really know like okay I'm gonna put myself under the weight and we're just gonna we're just gonna try our best and sometimes you will get it and recently I did get it but another thing I did start incorporating to kind of help myself get there um, which also helped my technique on bench okay this sounds kind of like weird but it has definitely helped me watching a lot of benching videos watching a ton of people bench which helps you when you get in the gym you almost I felt more aware of my form which you can have people tell you like okay this this which is great and that is really important to get like critiques back from people as far as what you're doing but i think also watching and like kind of applying it to myself made myself more aware of it so i was making like more of an effort to kind of know like how i was benching and how it was working and things like that um and also practicing the technique when i say that i mean like i would do push-ups every single morning just even if it was just a few i'd really like do a few like good push-ups making sure like okay focus on squeezing your chest focus on driving down like i just would treat it as if i was benching almost and really focus on that and doing little things really can help i find i started doing like 
in the morning or just sometime throughout the day, I do like a not a circuit, but just a few things to kind of help get my body moving. And that would be like air squats, um, pull-ups, sometimes crunches, but not that often, and push-ups. And those have really, hold on, this is kind of far away. Those definitely helped me out a lot. Um, the push-ups helped a lot because I wasn't very good at push-ups anyway. So once I started doing them, I definitely noticed like my overall performance on chest today and benching in general definitely increased I just felt a lot more comfortable and um, doing things like that can just help with your technique it can help a little bit with your strength too I've done this with squats as well when I started training I hated squatting like I can't even tell you how badly I hated it because I was so bad at it and it was just so awkward for me and uncomfortable but I kept trying I kept trying obviously I kept trying <laughs> and now Every time I squat, obviously I'll have a few things that, you know, always feel out of order. Like I need to visit the chiropractor. I need to do this. I need to, you know, stretch more of this. But, you know, some that's, I always, there's always a little something. Every time I'm under the bar now, I feel like 80% more confident than I did when I started. Honestly, it's tremendous. Like I can't even explain to you how much of a difference there is because my squatting has gotten so much better. I'm still, my weights are still like, I'm still increasing them quite a bit, especially my volume. Like I'm, a, I'm able to move higher weight for more reps than I ever have been able to, but I haven't tried um, really going for a PR in a while. So that'll probably be soon that I'll do that again. But that they definitely got better a because i was spending a lot more time practicing squatting and practicing the technique so in the gym sometimes i would squat twice a week but i would really make sure like i watched a lot of squatting videos i got under the bar even if it was just the barbell like on a daily basis or something like practice the technique and the movement that was helpful just doing air squats at home helping my mobility and things like that extremely helpful so those are things that really had helped me a lot. Going to the chiropractor can really help, not just kind of like break through a plateau necessarily, but just your overall gym performance as well. Because whenever your body's out of alignment, if you think of a house and you have like one brick missing or out of order, the house is gonna like look a lot different. It's not gonna be all perfectly fit. That's kind of not the best example, but that's how I think of it in my body with my bones. And that's why I'm a huge believer in going to the chiropractor he makes me feel so much better i've gone to the chiropractor because sometimes this will happen to me actually this has happened to me two or three times now in the past like two to three years i will have like a head cold and head pain and then i don't know why i just got like pink in this lighting anyway i have a head cold or head pain so i go to the chiropractor and i have like a lot of tension in my neck just from weightlifting deadlifts any type of training honestly and I leave with no headache. Like I've went in there with like nasal congestion and pain all through here and I've left with none of it and none of it came back. Like the chiropractor works wonders. You need to find one that you trust, find one that you can go to all the time and just take full advantage of going to them because it has helped me so much because I and I can tell like when my body is out of alignment my workouts do suffer a lot and I really have to push through them and just know like all right come on like stay with it keep trying keep pushing and I have to spend a lot more time worm wor warming up warming up and mobilizing myself when I'm in alignment it's just kind of a lot easier and I don't really let the problem like build up like right now I've let it build up so there are multiple things that kind of need to be fixed <laughs> so we're gonna schedule an appointment for that tomorrow but those are just a few things that have kind of helped me like with my overall gym performance and things that kind of not everybody necessarily knows that are kind of helpful to know when you start out or just at any point in time so i really hope this helped you at least like one thing you could take away from it and that is about it if there's anything that you guys have that's really helped you please comment below because i would love to like share and you know we're all about making gains here we want to get stronger and get better <laughs> so i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching bye